Welcome back. Now we have two questions requiring our attention. The first one says, calculate the pH of a solution of angelic acid whose hydrogen ion concentration is 5.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 9 molar. Now this capital M, we pronounce it as molar, but it stands for moles per dm cubed, the usual units of concentration. And then this one is calculate the pH of a 0.402 molar solution of H2SO4. Now both questions say calculate pH, but the approaches will be different. The approaches will be different because there is something we are given in the first question that we are not given in the second. In the first question, you see this part, it says hydrogen ion concentration is this. So that makes life easy. Because we've been given hydrogen ion concentration, it means that we could just go ahead and calculate our pH. But in this second case, if you read from the start of the question to the finish, we were not given hydrogen ion concentration. So it means that pH questions are generally of two types at this level. Those where we are given hydrogen ion concentration and those where we are not given. In a case where we are given, all we would need to do is employ the formula we wrote earlier that says, so this is a solution to question one now, pH equals negative logarithm to base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration we are given. So that will work for number one, but if you try it for number two, it's unlikely to work. As a matter of fact, for this question, it will not work because we were not given H+. What we were given here is described as the concentration of the solution, because it talks about the solution of H2SO4. So this is the concentration of that solution, not the concentration of hydrogen ions in it. But in this first case, we're told that the hydrogen ion concentration is this. So it means that I could proceed by saying pH, that's for question one, is the negative logarithm to base 10 of which value now? 5.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 9. If you do this on your calculator, you get pH equals um, 8.3. So 8.3 is our answer, 8.301, but 8.3 is just fine. So this is the solution to question one, very easy. But for question two, where we were not given hydrogen ion concentration, we would need to look for it first. So anytime you're not given H+, plus, you're not given OH-, minus, you will need to look for one of them first. And in that case, you will become concerned about the compound in the question. Like if you go back to the first question, they mentioned angelic acid, which many of you may not have heard about. It actually exists. But even though you don't know what angelic acid is, fact is you've been given H plus already, and that means you can proceed. So no matter what is put here, whether an acid, a base, any other substance, as long as H plus has been given, all you need to do is what I have done. But in this case where H plus is not given, you will need to first look at the substance in the question. Like in this case, what kind of substance was I given? H2SO4, which is an acid. So in a question where you are given an acid like this, but no H+, plus, no H or OH-, minus, what you can get very quickly is H+, plus using this formula here. So this formula says H+, plus is the given concentration of the acid times the basicity of the acid. Sorry, I need to correct this, times the basicity of the acid. And then here we have times the acidity of the base. All right. So H plus for an acid solution is the concentration of the solution plus the basicity of the acid in the question. Whereas in this case, OH minus would be the concentration of the base in the question times the acidity of the base, which is the number of replaceable OH. So for this question where the substance is an acid, I will not be using this base formula. I'll be using the acid formula. So what if in place of H2SO4, I had something like calcium hydroxide? Because calcium hydroxide is a base, I would have used this formula instead to begin that question. So it means that what I would get first is OH-. 
But in this case, beautiful, it's an acid. So let's use this first formula. I'll say H plus concentration for this acid solution equals the concentration of the acid given to me, which is 0 0.402 times the basicity, number of replaceable hydrogens for H2SO4, and that is 2. So it means that the H plus concentration of this solution is 0 0.404. So you see now that the concentration given to us turned out to be different from the H plus. What if the acid here had been, um, let's say, HCl? In the case of HCl, the basicity of HCl is 1. And that means the H plus would have been the same as this concentration. But in this case, it's different. And there are many other acids where you may have basicity values that are not 1. So you must remember this formula for getting the H plus in questions where you are given an acid but no H+, plus. and then this one for getting the OH-, minus for questions where you are given a base but no OH-, minus. but in a case like question 1 where you are given H+, plus or OH-, minus, then the nature of the substance would no longer matter. Let's finish question 2. So this is my H+, plus, and that means I can say now pH equals negative logarithm to base 10 or H plus concentration. So the pH becomes negative logarithm to base 10 of 0 0.00004. If you do this now, you get your pH as um, 4.4. That's correct. 4.398 on your calculator, but that's 4.4 here approximately. So I've answered questions 1 and 2 very easily. Meanwhile, I didn't use a calculator, and you may begin to wonder how I was able to do that. Well, I was able to achieve that because I have this formula of mine. It says pH equals N minus log A, and that is when I'm given H plus in standard form A times 10 raised to power minus N. For example, if you were to compare this expression with what you have in number 1, 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 9, you see that A is 5, whereas N is 9. So that if I were to solve question 1 using this formula, I would say, for question 1 now, pH equals 9 minus log 5. That is N minus log A. In which case I would have pH equals 9 minus 0.7, and that makes my pH 8.3. So that's what I did very quickly, and I got the answer as 8.3. In the second case, see my H plus, 0 0.404. If you were to write that in standard form, it becomes what now? 4.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 5. That's what it becomes in standard form. That means my pH becomes 5 minus log 4. So from here, I have pH equals 5 minus, log 4 is not very common, but log 2 is common, log 5 is common. What is log 2? Log 2 is 0 0.301. So if log 2 is this, then I know that log 4 equals log 2 squared, and log 2 squared is 2 log 2. So log 2 squared will be 2 times, what is log 2 now? 0 0.3, and that gives me 0 0.6. So log 4 is 0 0.6, and when I bring in 0 0.6 here, I get pH equals 4.4. So that's how I got the 4.4 there. I was able to use this formula mentally, even without writing down. So these are two questions on pH, and see how I have solved them. After the break, I'll show you a last set of pH questions. And um, for those questions, I'll show you again how to further use this formula. And hopefully when I'm done with those questions, I'll um, be very free to say, or feel safe to say, that I have shown you how to calculate pH of weak solutions, sorry, strong solutions. For weak solutions, there will be a subsequent video talking about how to calculate their own pH.